Poker Pro, Nick Airball, and Wesley Fay, prominent regulars on the popular Hustler stream, have accused that a fellow player from the show engaged in cheating during private high stakes poker games. In this video, we look at the allegations. Airball took to X on Sunday night to detail his claims against Ye Shen, also sometimes known as Tony Mars. The allegations are that Mars took a marked card deck and his own dealer to private high-stakes cash games in California and then used special contact lenses to see the cards. Airball is not the sole individual asserting these allegations. Although Airball affirmed his intention to disclose more details at a later time, Wesley Fay had already compiled a compelling case against Mars. He mentioned that the majority of the games played involved blinds ranging from 2550 to 5100 with a mix of recreational players and a few recognized regulars, including Nick. Fay has shared text screenshots wherein Mars appears to confirm his intention to bring his own deck of cards to a game in Yorba Linda. In the overall span of seven months leading up to October this year, Mars played in the game two or three times per week and managed to win approximately $1.6 million. Notably, Mars's friends also experienced significant profits collectively leaving with $3.1 million. In contrast, Faye incurred a loss of $1 million during this period. Following a poker session, Faye uncovered hidden numbers on the back of one of the decks of cards. Upon using a blue light, these numbers became visible, suggesting that someone during the game had utilized them for cheating. Since Mars had confirmed that he would provide decks for the game, suspicion immediately rested heavily on him. On November 15th, within Wesley Fay's $400,000 suite at Caesars Palace, the poker player invited Mars over to address the allegations. Despite attempting to elicit an admission of guilt, Mars consistently denied any wrongdoing. Nevertheless, he did acknowledge that the deck had a problem, yet he claimed ignorance about who had introduced it to the game. Wesley was adamant that the deck employed in the game is a special deck not available for purchase at any random store and he asserts that Mars brought it into the game. Meanwhile, in Airball's X post, another player named Rena asserts that she had attempted to warn people about Mars several months ago. She provided screenshots of posts on YouTube and WeChat where she accused Mars of cheating and failing to settle a $25,000 debt owed to her. According to Rena's post, Mars blocked her on WeChat, preventing her from contacting him regarding her winnings. She expressed her opinion stating, I don't think people like this should be featured on stream and gaining popularity and fame for poker. In a detailed response, Mars defended himself against the accusations, refuting any misconduct and also criticized Wesley's character in the course of the statement. The statement emphasized that despite experiencing both victories and losses throughout their poker career, Mars maintained a commitment to fair play and integrity, asserting that he has never engaged in cheating and consistently settled financial obligations following losses. He asserted that Wesley is currently experiencing a significant downswing in his poker and endeavors, citing losses of $1.5 million in private heads of poker games, a couple of hundred thousand in Vegas, and additional losses amounting to millions, and is almost close to broke. Mars claims that the lavish suite and other luxuries displayed by Wesley are not genuinely owned by him. Mars contends that Wesley deceives everyone by misrepresenting himself to convey a specific image. The most important part of the statement given to Poker News reads as follows. Zio called me to co-host a game with him at his apartment. I told Zio we will both bring players to the game. When we spoke about this, he asked me if I wanted to bring the dealer. I responded to him, I can bring cards from your Belinda, you can call your dealers. After a couple of hours, Zio and myself agreed to change the game location to your Belinda. So since we are playing at Yorba, there was no need for me to bring cards because they have multiple decks there at a game. When I arrived at the game, there were six or seven people already sitting at the table. So there is no way that I could have switched or brought cards since everyone was there. After the game, we found out the cards were marked. 
At that time, I thought Zio brought the deck, but he arrived around the same time I did, so that changed my mind about accusing Zio. Three weeks later, one of the players who went back to China confessed to me on the phone and said he was sorry for all the players blaming me. He went on to tell me that he switched the cards because he was losing so much recently. His name is Sun. After I received this information, I went directly to the owner of the house and explained everything. Two other people other than me can confirm this. Mars concluded his statement saying, Wesley is broke, desperate and tries not to pay the money he owes me. Let us know in the comments on what you think.